So Adele Francis, you're the chief investigator of the Loris trial. Adele, why do you and lots of your other surgical and oncological colleagues think that the Loris trial is so important? We've had increasing evidence now over the years from research trials and epidemiological studies from breast screening programmes that we are over-treating and it is both inappropriate and unacceptable for us to continue to do so without attempting to address it and we're not able to give information to patients or give them an informed choice at present and we will only be able to do so if we perform a prospective randomised trial such as the Loris trial. If I was a woman with low-grade DCIS mm -hmm talking to you now, what actually would be the benefit for me for going into the Loris trial? Okay, so a main benefit is that we cannot make any steps forward in medicine or treatment unless people like yourself agree to have their treatment within a clinical trial so that for our future generations of our families, the treatment will be improved because we take part in clinical trials. Secondly, there's quite a lot of evidence that if you have your treatment within a clinical trial, you do better than if you have it outside of a clinical trial, and that's for all sorts of reasons. For example, having research nurses involved, quite a lot of investigations, a close eye kept on you, etc. And if you have your treatment within this trial and you are allocated to the active monitoring arm and the trial went on to show that that is as safe in the long run as having surgery, then you would have avoided unnecessary surgery and the implications that go with it. So to summarise, the Loris trial will examine whether women diagnosed with low or low intermediate grade DCIS who do not have surgery but who are actively monitored do as well as those women who have surgery which is the usual current treatment.